So the squads have been announced for Papua New Guinea versus Fiji. We're going to take a look at the 21-man squads that have been announced, talk about the game a little bit, and then give a prediction at the end. So let's get started on the squads. Starting with Papua New Guinea, in the backs they have Alex Johnston, Robert Darby, Zach Labour, Benji Cott, Nenny McDonald, Cal Labour and Lachlan Lamb. In the forwards is Epel Kapinius, Edwin Apape, Valentine Richard, Reese Martin, Dan Russell and Jack DeBellin. On the bench is Judah Rimbu, Wellington Albert, Kevin Apo and Jacob Alec. And in the reserves is Liam Horn, Nixon Putt, Junior Rop and Mackenzie Yeh. Taking a look at the Fiji lineup in the backs includes Jareen Buller, Mike Sivo, Sunia Taruva, Wanga Blake, Mikaeli Ravalawa, Kurt Donahue, and Brandon Wakem. In the forwards is Tui Kamakamitha, Noah Nyla Goliva, King Vuni Yayoa, Kitioni Katoga, Tani Milne, and Caleb Navale. On the bench is Penioni Tagatuimua, Api Salomi Saukuru, Gordon Whippy, and Masake Ravonu. And in the reserves is Jason Keri Keri, Watasoni Wakini Saravi, Cirilo Lovakuro, and Pio Seki. So going back to Papua New Guinea's first game in week one, they played with a hell of a lot of pace, real solid intensity, constantly throughout the game. That is what you expect from Papua New Guinea. That is what they do, regardless of the score, regardless of the situation. It is intense running 100% of the time. That is the, that is the culture of a PNG team. It always has been and probably always will be. Comparing that to Fiji, this might be a little bit unpopular, but I felt... Fiji were a little bit lazy. They weren't really on it for me, and I was actually very disappointed with their performance last week. As happy as 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 I was for Cook Islands to you know show a little bit more, I just I couldn't get over the fact that Fiji truly should have run away with that game, and they just didn't. There's too many errors for one, and that's not always a sign of laziness, but can be. But the amount of great field position that they had and just, there was just a lack of intensity, there was a lack of awareness, concentration, it just, it looked lazy. And I know it was probably hot out there, even though they might be used to really, really high temperatures, but it just, it just wasn't there for me for Fiji. And I think if that kind of performance is what we get again from Fiji this week, versus a clean, clinical, intense performance from PNG, Papua New Guinea will wipe Fiji away. They'll just destroy them. So Fiji need to be on it instantly. There was plenty of big hits. They made some real good field position through the middle, but they allowed a ton from Cook Islands. Just way too many. They had them pinned back inside their own 10, and by the end of the set, they're well into the Fiji half. It's not acceptable. You can't be allowing that. And that's on regular sets for a start. Talking about some of the players in this PNG team, Justin Ollum is unfortunately injured. So he's probably not going to feature at all in this Pacific Championship. Roderick Tai is also injured as well, unfortunately. As a Warren's Wolves fan, I wanted to see him play a little bit more. But it is what it is. Opportunity for Reese Martin to actually step into the team this week, which is, is good to see. So... Hopefully he can provide a little bit of extra something to the forward pack, even though they did a fantastic job last week. But the key player is Edwin Aparpe. And as I just talked about with the easy meter through the middle, if you don't slow him down in some way, if you don't force the Rook to be slow, Aparpe is going to demolish Fiji through the middle. You cannot allow him to get quick runs from dummy half through the defensive line you just cannot allow it you've got to slow png down otherwise you are screwed so to head towards a prediction now i think looking at the personnel that png have it's going to be very difficult to slow down their progress i didn't even talk about lock and lamb i didn't even mention him see this is how stacked the png team is and how many weapons they've got i spoke about other players didn't even talk about lock and lamb like I, like I just forgot him. But Fiji do have players that can compete. They're young players, but they're experienced at this point with Bula, Taruva, Wanga Blake. Like they're experienced guys, even though they're young, they've been thrown into the deep end, one at the top of the ladder, one at the bottom of the ladder, granted, in the NRL. But they are experienced, talented players. I'm expecting a much more refined Fiji performance. And 
well, the same with Papua New Guinea, to be honest. I mean, that they're really solid last week. Can they just be even more clinical? Can they be even stronger in defence? That's going to be the, the challenge for them. They were, they were great in week one. They just want to refine everything just a little bit more. So with all that being said, going with a prediction, I'm going to go with Papua New Guinea 36, Fiji 22. So that is going to be it for this video. If you have any predictions for this game, let me know in the comments down below. If there are any changes you would have made to the PNG or Fiji squad, also let me know. But that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.